You have to be watching on Twitch. This is your race of the week, presented by Sweet Manufacturing. On the go pedal through the field, looking good on the opening start. Down into turn one, it's Baldwin on the inside lane. Sharpstein on the outside, it's Sharpstein now. Getting a good run in the second groove, and big wreck on the back straight away as they pile in. We are going to go red as we've got a car on top of the wall down the back side of the racetrack. Big crash. It's what we were worried about with a field this size. Nowhere to go for many of the competitors. And it looks like most of these cars right here, Adam, have come to a stop. We see some damage, particularly on the 24 car and the of course the 76 car you see to the left side of the screen a fluid car with damage to the front obviously suspension. been in the outside wall but most of those cars i think were able to just stop without getting involved green flag in the air sharpstein on the outside baldwin on the inside and sharpstein gets the advantage at the start we got them looking for three wide back in the field they'll single back down to two by two which is a good thing as they race off at turn two, what a run for the 27 of Rogalski. Rogalski with a great run off the top side of turns one and two. He's going to dive it to the inside there. Lee Sharpstein drifting up the racetrack. And now Luke Baldwin, after kind of a slow start, trying to get the momentum built up in that 7NC car, he's holding on to that third position. Got the first lap in. That's a crucial first lap. Sharpstein running second. Baldwin in third. Catalano in the fourth position. Justin Beecher running in the fifth spot, going around down in turns three and four. Ooh. Look around down in the corner oh. as they pile in. They're late in the going. Another good restart for Rogalski in the 27 car. Let's see what Sharpstein does on the bottom. And here comes Trevor Catalano in the 54 car. Good restart for Catalano as the top three now fall into single file formation. The battle on behind him. Single wide, single file, top three. For the runner up position, mm -hmm. Sharpstein thought about closing the door, then gave room in turn three. Battle for second. It's up for grabs. Sharpstein holds off the Catalano car on the front straightaway. Still side by side off of two. Good run for the 54. Yeah, Catalano able to get the power down off the exit of two. He's going to take over that second position. Sharpstein going to dive down into the tire tracks of Trevor Catalano. He's going to hold on to third, but here comes that next group. Adam LaCicero closing in in that fourth position. To go, going to be nine at the line, and we're going to have a yellow as we have a spinner. The 12 of Nick Bear has gone around. Face car down on pit road. Look at that jump by Trevor Catalano. Can he hold it down into one? Good run back to the high lane, up into the third groove. Goes Rogalski, sticks pretty well. Down the back stretch, Catalano pulls ahead. Again, a nice run into turn three for Rogalski. Sharpstein looking for an opening. Catalano gives him room down the front stretch at the line. It's a tight one. Catalano by inches is the leader. Rogalski, though, taking back control momentarily, middle of the corner. Catalano, the good push down the back stretch. Trevor Catalano doing a great job holding on to that top spot by inches on the bottom side of the racetrack. But Evan Rogalski trying to keep the momentum wound up to the top side. Catalano pushing him way up into that third groove. And now Trevor Catalano will take the lead down the back stretch. Lee Sharpstein now sticking the nose of the 17 car to the inside of Evan Rogalski. The battle on now for second. Rogalski up into second, Sharpstein running third. Now to the outside, Luke Baldwin all of a sudden up there challenging after falling back from starting on the pole position early in this race. Racy now is the seven. Face car down on pit road. Look at that jump by Trevor Catalano. Can he hold it down into one? Good run back to the high lane, up into the third groove goes Rogalski, sticks pretty well down the back stretch. Catalano pulls ahead. Again, a nice run into turn three for Rogalski. Sharpstein looking for an opening. Catalano gives him room down the front stretch at the line. It's a tight one. Catalano by inches is the leader. Rogalski, though, taking back control momentarily, middle of the corner. Catalano, the good push down the back stretch. Trevor Catalano doing a great job holding on to that top spot by inches on the bottom side of the racetrack. But Evan Rogalski. 
trying to keep the momentum wound up to the top side. Catalano pushing him way up into that third groove. And now Trevor Catalano will take the lead down the back stretch. Lee Sharpstein now sticking the nose of the 17 car to the inside of Evan Rogalski. The battle on now for second. Rogalski up into second, Sharpstein running third. Now to the outside, Luke Baldwin all of a sudden up there challenging after falling back from starting on the pole position early in this race. Racy now is the seven. Running in the fifth position, Ricky Collins, the 51, nose to tail. Rogalski's quick. He wants to take the lead back, knows his chance to win is tonight, and here he goes with a bold move to the inside lane. He was knocking on the back bumper down the front straightaway, and he made a bold move down to the inside, down into turn one. Now Trevor Catalano trying to keep it wound up to the top side of the racetrack, but Brigalski strong down on the inside side by side battle for the lead down to one they're knocking wheels down into turn one Rogalski shown as the leader by inches at the line this most recent time here comes Catalano fighting back a little bit of a bump down into turn number three but then loses some ground Sharpstein trying to pounce from the third position four to go for Evan Rogalski the blue at 76 comes to a stop in victory lane but that is not the winner it was an accident taking place as they came to the white flag and damage to the left rear of that car. I saw that car up against the wall in the back stretch earlier. Fires nicely. How high does the Catalano car take him down in one and two? That may determine who ends up winning this race. Good run for both into one and two. Trevor Catalano putting the power down. He's got the nose out in front, down the back stretch. Can he clear Rogalski down into turn three? Rogalski not wanting to give it up without a fight. He's going to try to hang tough to the outside there. White flag up. Catalano leads by just inches at the stripe. Again, six one thousandths of a second. The difference at the white flag there, side by side, down the back stretch. Here comes Lee Sharpstein. Could we have a three wide battle for the win? Here we come off a of turn four. Who's it going to be at the stripe? Trevor Catalano will go to victory lane. That is by one one thousandth of a second by timing and scoring. Of course, not always does it have to be transponder scoring that counts it. Because by the naked eye, it would look like a dead heat. And it is Trevor Catalano reportedly getting the win.